The PoE technology can transport both power and network over single internet cable. So it saves the cost to install an IP device such like the IP camera. There's no need to buy separate power lines to the camera. This is very typical PoE camera system. The PoE injector just uses single internet cable to connect the camera and provide both power and network to the camera. Sometimes we may just need to add a new camera to the system. For example, this is the PDZ camera. So we can have both shoot, fixed shooting angle, also the Pandel Zoom camera as well. However, writing a new cable could cost both time and money because all the cable is already set in the application. Now, this is the PoE extender can help us to complete the job easier. This one port is for PoE input which will be connecting to the cable from our PoE injector and two output ports which will split the PoE and network for both existing camera and also our new camera I guess you may be thinking how much power this device can provide after all this is the PDZ camera it's the power hungry device fortunately the PoE standard support IEEE A02.3 PD standard which will take or four pair to transport both power and network. If you are just using the PoE injector like this one, which can output 95 watts to a single port, you are going to have 30 port output for each of these PoE ports. It's enough for two infrared PTZ camera. All right, now let's just make the connection. First, let's disconnect the PoE from the injector. Now we will take off the cable from the camera and next we will have to connect this port to our PoE int and this is the waterproof cap we will need to fasten waterproof cap tightly if we want the waterproof Now you see we got two PoE out we have got the punch, punch code and just pick one of the port and connect to our existing camera so in the real application we also need to use these two water brocade for the waterproof we just save the time so skip it and now it leaves us the second port which we will be, we will be connecting to our new PDZ camera Now that's almost set, we are going to put back the cable to the PoE injector. It's going to take for a while for the PoE extender to receive the power and data. Let's just wait. Oh, now the PDZ camera is getting the power. Also, the three LED indicators start flashing, which means now we are seeing the light. We may take a little time for the PDZ camera to get online. Alright. Now the cameras, both cameras are online now. One more thing. Technically, the new PDZ camera doesn't need to stay close to this camera. It can be 100 meters far from the PoE injector. PoE standard, sorry. Because the, this PoE standard also has an extension function which will can provide 25 watts at the end of 100 meter later ca ca meter cable. Alright, that's all. Thank thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe us. Any question for the PoE standard? Please leave a comment below.